Hello, uh, in this video I will show you how we can bin a variable that is continuous and sometimes we need to uh, split the, the values into different classes uh, either because we want to generate a histogram or we want to generate a frequency table for a continuous variable. Suppose that we have uh, the mathematics score here in this data set where we see that we have a continuous uh, variable that gets some values from uh, some students. Uh, it's a continuous variable so we cannot generate a frequency table as it is. We need to create a number of different classes or bins as we say in the terminology of SPSS. In order to do that we select the transform visual binning and we select the variable that we have in scope the mathematics score for example and if we press continue there is a, a, a dialogue here that shows how the values uh, this is a very informative uh, box it shows how the values are distributed so we can decide on where we will place our cut points the first thing here is to define a new name for the variable that will contain the bind values. Let's say M1 bind just to be able to understand what is going on. So the mathematics 1 which is going to be the bind variable. Now the second step is to make to define the cut points or where we will define our the boundaries of our classes. We have the option here to define the beginning of the cut points and it would be uh, it would be nice if we can consider the uh, outer uh, the outer left uh, point of our data set. Uh, so for example we see that uh, for the mathematics the lowest score is 27 so we could place our initial cut point at 15 or 20. Uh, now how many cut points should we define? Uh, in general we, we do not define too many or too, uh, uh, too limited number of uh, classes. We would like to have a number that could be appropriate for the volume and the density of our data set. So roughly speaking we define some something around 8 and 12. Let's define 8 to see how it goes. Automatically the width of every class is set to 11 but we can modify that uh, for uh, purposes of uh, better display so we can set it to 15 and just skip the rest for the moment and we apply that. So we see that those are the classes that have been generated and will be used for splitting the data. If we generate them labels as well we see that SPSS automatically generates the boundaries for every uh, for every class. Now if we press the OK button a new variable with the name m1 bin will be created and it will contain the values or the counts, the frequencies for every class. If we press OK then, a new variable will be generated and if we check our data set we will see that the new variable is here. One thing we can do with this variable, as you see, it contains the boundaries and it actually contains the frequencies. So it does not contain the original data, but it contains it. It is actually contains the boundary of the class for every value uh, that we have here. So the maths score 81 belongs to this specific class. So the next point is where can we use that? We can use it to create a frequency table for our uh, variable by selecting the variable 
not the original but the bind variable move it to that box and let the statistics as it is and display the frequency table so as you can see the frequency table right now contains the frequencies for every one of the classes that we have defined so in brief when we want to create a frequency table like that for uh, a continuous variable then we need to define the classes the classes are defined by transforming the variable by vi applying visual binning and then defining either manually or automatically the boundary of the classes and then calculating the frequencies automatically for every class so what happens in real uh, in reality is that we create a new categorical variable and we display the frequencies of that variable thank you very much